whatever. You've probably heard the expression, a picture is worth a thousand words. Whether a photograph, drawing, or painting, there is something about visual images that produce strong emotional responses. If this is an artist's superpower, then why do some artists use words in their work? If you can describe what you want to express in words, why go to all the trouble of making an artwork? We can find art from many ancient cultures where artists use words in their work. They tell stories, explain how to live, describe the afterlife. Before books, they were an important way to communicate culture. Typography is the study of letter forms. Since the invention of the printing press, first in China and then in Europe, most printed material followed a pretty standard format. But in the beginning of the 20th century, some designers began to experiment with how letters might go together. Likewise, some artists began to include printed material in their artwork. These artists were looking for new ways to express ideas about the new modern world in which they lived. Since then, artists have used words in their work in a number of different ways. Some artists create their own writing. Other artists use words to question the function of the artist. Still others use words in ways that address psychological states. We're going to look at five contemporary artists who use words in their work to make pointed observations on the world in which they live. Roy Lichtenstein's young son was a big fan of comic books. As a joke, he challenged his dad, an artist, to make an artwork as good. Intrigued, Lichtenstein began using imagery from the comics in his artwork. By using the popular, yet cheaply and mass-produced images from the comics, Lichtenstein's paintings questioned the notion of high and low art. Moroccan photographer Lala Essayadi uses Arabic calligraphy to confront the traditional role of women in Arabic society. Calligraphy is usually considered a man's practice, so Essayadi's use of it challenges the notion of power and gender in Arab society. Her photographs also call into question the way Arab women have been portrayed as exotic curiosities in Western art. Beginning in the 1980s, China reformed and opened up its markets and the economy began to flourish. Opening trade with other countries naturally meant that Western ideas would begin to influence Chinese society. Artist Wang Guanyi uses imagery from posters that promoted the ideals of the Communist Revolution with logos of popular consumer products from the West. He highlights the contrast in these two economic systems and how China has changed. Like photographer Essa Yadi, Barbara Kruger questions the relationship and position of women in society, but from a Western perspective. Her work defies the stereotypes that society has towards women. Originally a graphic designer, Kruger's use of black and white photography, contrasts with bold letters usually set off in red, mimic the urgency of magazine advertising. Born in South Los Angeles, artist Mark Bradford collects the cheap advertising posted on the walls and fences of his neighborhood. Layering these posters on top of one another, Bradford uses a mechanical sander to reveal the underlying words and images. This process of addition and subtraction creates artworks that contrast the frenzy of mass consumption and the level of waste we produce. Each of these artists use words in their work, but unlike posters whose goal was to provide information or promote a product, the work of these artists uses words to juxtapose how language and images can work together to express strong opinions and make us think about culture, society, and human nature. 